2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. Without further ado, let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, what's it like to compete in this nerve-wracking affair? Luke, all the players in this field want one thing and one thing only, and that is their Corn Ferry Tour card. It's a massive accomplishment. Let's see how this all shakes out. The top 50 on the leaderboard will get their card. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. That's a good looking shot there. Second shot here on the first. Going with the nine iron, I think. Outstanding approach shot. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. Good looking putt. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Currently one under for the day. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Good drive. That one should find the fairway. Second shot on the second. And here we are with the third shot. Yep, that'll work, that's fine. This one's for Birdie. Yep. 
This one's tracking. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. She's currently tied for seventh. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the third hole. Going with the five wood. Oh my, right by the hole. Lining up the birdie putt here. Well hold. Let's move on. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Absolutely tattooed that one. Coming off a string of three birdies. A lovely play. She's on the dance floor. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. That one had eyes for it the whole way. Got to say... Putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Like it came out of a cannon. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. Going with the six iron here. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Anything in five feet to be handy from here. Shame it didn't drop. You'll happily just go ahead and tap that in. Easy par, that. She's currently tied for third. Let's see what happens here on the sixth.
Oh, absolutely flushed. Second shot here on the sixth. Opting for the five wood. Oh, that was pure. And this part for a share of the lead. Oh, this looks pure. Oh, what a lovely putt to make. And that will take her to five under. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Ting off here at the seventh. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the seventh. And this one might just sneak off the fairway. Sitting at five under for the day. Currently tied for top spot. Seven feet to the cup. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take her to six under. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. <laughs> that was pummeled. Great drive. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Well, they've certainly got the swing and a groove. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. It's half a chance of being hold, this one. Oh, well, hold. He'll take the birdie. And that will move her to seven under. She's in a share of top spot. We have a par three on this one. A 
looks like they've got the five wood. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Well, she should be happy with that. Anywhere on the green was a good shot. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Right by the hole. Opportunity to make their par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Well, a lovely position for this player, Rich. Tied for the lead as they make the turn. Well, this is what you practice for, isn't it? You want to be in the lead, up near the lead, going into the final nine holes of an event to see if you can win it. Let's see how well they've practiced and if it can pay off. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. <laughs> Sitting at seven under par for the day. Currently tied for first place. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the 10th. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Five feet coming up to the cup. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Ooh, nice line. And that's eight birdies today. And that will take her to eight under. And with that, she's now the sole leader in the event. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Teeing off here at the 11th. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one. Striped. Good shot there. Getting ready to play their third. Putting for birdie. Looks good off the blade. And with that fine putt, she extends her advantage over the field. Gotta like it. Two in a row. Leading by a couple after that hole. You've arrived at a par four. Oh, that is crushed.
second shot here on the 12th. Going with the five wood. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Outside chance here for the birdie. Oh, just missed. Four feet to the cup. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Good looking shot, this. Sitting at nine under par, currently in the lead. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one needs to kick left. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. What an opportunity to make a birdie. That's well hold. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Going with a three wood here. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Well, I'm sure she'll take that one. Birdie at the last. This for another. Get in. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. She's currently sitting in first place. It's time to begin this powerful hole. from about 200 yards out. No harm, no foul there with that shot. All right, John, 
How's this putt looking? Well, it looks like it's about 24 feet to the cup from here. Well, that's the right pace. This should drop. Not sure how that putt came up shy. This putt just five feet away from the hole. And there it is. And nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. That is right down the sprinkler line. This lie's not great. Fantastic. What a shot from the leader. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Gee, that had a chance, didn't it? And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Still in the lead now after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. for the five wood needs this one to kick right oh what a shot by our leader the iron play today has been absolutely stellar Luke the greens and regulation just a fantastic accomplishment great to watch okay steady now Putting for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Leading by four strokes after that one. Well, what a lovely position to be in. Holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. Second shot here at the 18th. Nicely done. From about 100 yards. Choosing the 9-iron here. 
Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. And with this putt, she can win the tournament. That was a gallant attempt. And this putt is for a final score of 61. What an effort that is, winning Q School in what's a pressure-packed tournament. Yes, yeah, so hats off, but listen, I, it really doesn't matter, Luke. You finish first or you finish 25th, you still get your tour card. You still have an amazing opportunity next year. Yes, winning it does, does get you into a few more events at the beginning of the year, but you better play your way into the next part of the year because of the reshuffle. Hats off to the winner, but hats off to all the players getting through. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.